Uh, let's just contextualize this for, for a second to kick off. Uh, what type of investment have we seen from Chinese firms in Namibia to date? Uh, China has been uh, investing uh, in mineral exploration, in mining itself, uh, also infrastructure, particularly uh, properties. They've been uh, investing in agriculture as well as textile. So it's uh, predominantly, though, the mining sector and, of course, uh, the explore, exploratory uh, oil uh, sector right now that is driving Chinese investment. Um, in the context of this, we've also had the Walmart takeover of MassMart, uh, given the green light by Namibia. Uh, is Namibia becoming an increasingly attractive destination for Chinese firms, in your view, right now? I think so. It's becoming an attractive investment, not only for Chinese, uh, I think for all investors. And it's driven by the fact Namibia is politically stable, it's a peaceful country with the most attractive uh, investment regimes, and uh, uh, foreigners, foreign investors are treated mostly the same as domestic investors. And in that context, the Chinese are also finding it suitable to invest in this country. When we're looking at uh, key Chinese investors, though, are there certain companies, are there certain sectors, uh, that, that uh, certain, sorry, certain private investors that are uh, putting their money into the Namibian economy right now, or is it the Chinese government that is fueling this investment? Well, uh, I think most of the Chinese companies in Africa are state-owned companies. Uh, they are from different provinces. And uh, I'm sure there are also uh, private uh, Chinese citizens, business people, who are investing in our country. So it's a broad spectrum of Chinese citizens that are investing in Namibia, both state-owned and uh, private uh, entrepreneurs. Uh, talk to us about some of the stumbling blocks that have been in the way of increasing the partnership that we see between China and Namibia right now. I don't think they are stumbling blocks. Uh, first of all, Namibia and China have a very long-standing relationship, political uh, good relationship. We would want that to be transformed in an economic relationship. As you know, uh, China is the second largest economy in the world. Uh, the Chinese uh, uh, citizens are very productive, and we are welcome, welcoming them in Namibia to invest in our country. Uh, there are no uh, uh, there are no hindrances, and and of course Namibia treat all investors equally, whether they are Chinese or Europeans or Americans. We and they would want we would want that they treat our people, follow our laws and regulations, empower our 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 citizens. We have a major problem of uh, unemployment, and we want them to contribute to economic uh, uh, empowerment of our people and employment creation. We have also a uh, shortage of skills. We would want investors, including Chinese, to uh, <coughs> contribute to social investment, particularly in education. More importantly, we would want them to follow our laws and regulations, including labor laws. Of course, when you want, uh, when an investor is looking to put capital into an economy like Namibia, and it is, as you say, highlighting China is the second largest economy in the world, you'd want them to be upskilling locals, you'd want them to be uh, contributing to economic growth, contributing to uh, social dimensions as well. Uh, but has China been doing this to date? Have there been concerns that they, they haven't been contributing as much as is needed or as is required? Uh, by the government? Uh, uh, in investment by Chinese company in Namibia is relatively a, a, a new thing. Uh, we have not seen they playing contrary. Uh, I think those who have been investing here, they've been contributing to our economy, they've been employing our people. There are certain uh, issues that need to be improved. Uh, this is the things like uh, uh, to employ many Namibians, to provide scholarships, and uh, to ensure that uh, the labor laws are, are, are followed. 
But uh, over and above all this, I, I think China has been, and Chinese citizens and entrepreneurs uh, have been following the uh, expectations of the Namibian governments and people in investing in Namibia. So from the business's standpoint, uh, happy with the type of relationships and partnership that is being formed with the Chinese, uh, Chinese government right now? Uh, absolutely. We, we are happy. And, and you know, I would say that uh, China has earned its uh, reputation in the world. Uh, most of the products of the world are produced in China, is starting from uh, um, electronics and so on. So we, we, we are happy and we want a Chinese companies to invest in manufacturing, in agriculture, as well as in fishery products. So we want to encourage them to uh, invest in those sectors that, that will propel our economy to new heights. Talk to us about trade between the two countries right now, because China recently signed an agreement to start importing beef from Namibia. Um, and this, of course, key because of the stringent regulation regarding importation of beef into key markets like the EU right now. Uh, what type of trade relations are we seeing between the two countries and how have these developed over the past few years? <clears throat> Until uh, 2010, Namibia has a surplus between the, the trade and China. Uh, as for now, we have about 4.6 billion Namibian dollars uh, of trading between China and, and Namibia. Uh, uh, China imports from Namibia mostly mineral products like uh, uh, uranium, uh, copper. Um, we also import um, base metals to, to China. Export. And Namibia mostly import uh, machinery from China, textile, and food products. We would like uh, this trade to increase, and we are happy that our two governments, on the 10th of December uh, 2011, they've signed an agreement that allow uh, Namibian uh, agricultural product and fishery products to be imported into China. I would uh, like to add that we have no pro problem with the quality of Namibian ag agricultural products. We have one of the best beef that is being imported to export it to, to Europe. And we are, we are sure that uh, they will capture the Chinese market, both in the quality and, and, and of course, on, on price. So we are looking forward for Chinese uh, consumers to have in their shelves and Namibian meat and yeah. fishery products. And we, and we believe that that will contribute and increase the trade between the two countries.